Joining me right now, uh, virtually I should say, is Cobb and Douglas Public Health Director, Dr. Janet Meemark. Thank you so much for joining us on DCTV 23, Dr. Meemark. Thank you, Rick, for having me here. <laughs> Great. So, of course, let's get right to it. The topic that we're going to talk about that we really want to talk about that's on the minds of everyone right now, globally, as well as the city of Douglasville and Douglas County, is COVID-19. Can you give us the latest update on COVID-19, please? Sure. So um, as of today and at this moment, um, currently in Douglas County, we have 129 cases that have been documented in Douglas County of COVID-19. Um, that does include five deaths right now that, um, that the county has suffered. Uh, the middle median age of um, infections, about 51 years, and then the hospitalization rate stands at 39%. Um, I, I know that number seems a little high, and mm -hmm. our thought is that because um, the majority of people that are being tested right now are actually the ones that are hospitalized, and so that's why that number is a little bit higher than expected, and it will go down as we test more. Gotcha, gotcha. I, tell me something. I understand COVID-19 testing will be offered uh, tomorrow in the city of Douglasville, Douglas County. Is that correct? Yeah, so we're really excited to share this information because um, a lot of you probably heard about the shortage that's been nationwide for the testing kits. And so um, the state of Georgia with um, the governor's office has been working really hard to try to get some test kits out to public health. Um, a lot of commercial sites have been able to get some testing. So it's just kind of this um, uh, um, like a an uh, upward um, graph. And so more and more people have been getting more kits. And so we're really excited because we are getting um, some more kits for public health. And so it was specifically for Douglasville and Douglas County. So um, we're going to be offering a new testing site over at Hunter Park. And um, we will be doing drive-through testing at that site. Um, what I wanted to make sure everybody knew was that um, we have to do it by appointment only, okay? It is based on um, how many kits we have um, and the staffing needs and who has been um, referred. So um, it, it, please do not just show up. I will talk to you a little bit later about how to get referred, but please, um, we have to turn you away if you just show up because you have to be entered into the system first for us to be able to um, contact you and give you results and things like that. So there's a lot of prep work ahead of time. So we're very excited that we're going to be kicking that off tomorrow at Hunter Park. Sounds good. And that was a lot of information, a lot of valuable information. And, you know, just to really thumbnail it in a, in a nutshell, basically what you're saying is that testing begins tomorrow in Douglasville, Douglas County, Friday, April 10th, Friday, yes. April 10th. It is by appointment only, correct? Yes. Okay. And it's at Hunter Park in the city yes. of Douglasville, Hunter Park. And right now, as a matter of fact, I know staffers are closing their park, closing entrances, uh, getting things ready, getting things in order, because specifically it's a drive through, right? Yes. Drive through. OK, super, super. Thank you. Thank you. Let's let's go on to I know a lot of question. One question that's uh, on people's minds. Who is eligible for testing? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we're, we're excited about that, too, because, you know, up to this point, we've been able to only do the highest of the highest risk um, people to be tested for COVID-19. And that's because we didn't have as many test kits available. As there's been an expansion of the number of test kits and even the hospitals and commercial vendors have been popping up, we've been able to expand our criteria a little bit to match the CDC criteria. So now the people who are eligible to get tested, there's a there's a three um, layer uh, criteria priority for it. OK, okay. so I'm going to go over the highest risk, which is continues to be hospitalized patients and right. then healthcare facility workers that have symptoms. That is the priority number one list. Number two priority would be um, people that are living in long-term care facilities that have symptoms, and you've heard about the nursing home issues that we've been experiencing, um, mm -hmm. people who are 65 years and older with symptoms, and then any age patient that have underlying symptoms um, and, and conditions. So if you have chronic medical conditions and have symptoms, you qualify as well. And then any first responders with symptoms. So you can see that the symptoms with symptoms with symptoms is the, is the uh, common uh, yeah. criteria. 
Then I'm not going to go into the, the third criteria. It's basically if you live in an area that has a high hospitalization rate, which includes Douglas County and Cobb County, but Douglas County is included. Anybody who has symptoms can qualify to get tested. Those symptoms include having a fever, cough, or shortness of breath. Those are the major symptoms that we're looking at. Um, so if you have those symptoms, you will qualify, but we do have to prioritize those highest risks because we are seeing, unfortunately, the people who have the hardest time with the disease are the older ones or ones that have medical conditions. So we need to prioritize those people because remember, 80% of people continue to have very mild symptoms. So let's not forget that. So we got to make sure we prioritize the people that are highest risk. Gotcha. That's great. And, you know, you shared a, a great deal of information about, you know, who is eligible. And I'm sure, uh, as you alluded to, you know, can you talk, uh, give us an idea of, of how Douglas County residents can qualify for testing? Yeah, so there you can continue to be referred by your doctor. And then um, when we get the referrals, we will uh, call you and then ask you which um, which site you'd like to go to. You can go to, some people live closer to the Miller site. Some people live closer to the Douglas site. So you can pick whichever site you want, and then we'll put you in on the schedule for that. And we'll give you a time that you'll be um, tested. Um, other ways to do it, you can go to like a federally qualified health care center. You can do that um, and also go through kind of a similar process. And then there are people that are uninsured, right? And so you still have, um, you still could have symptoms and be exposed. So you can call our phone number at 770-514-2300. And you can be connected at that point with a nurse who will screen you. And then um, if you qualify in the screening, she will get you scheduled and put you in the referral to, to get you scheduled for that. And Dr. Meemark, mm -hmm. so... If, if you can, please, so kindly, because I know there's some people who are watching this right now running yeah. for that pen. They didn't have it on them. Can, I, you, repeat, can you repeat that phone number? Yes, please? it's 770-514-2300. So hopefully you guys can maybe put it up and people can see it too. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll look to do that. Absolutely. You know, one, one of the you know, last few questions, and, and last but not least, is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, so, um, you know, a, a lot of my staff work in Douglas County, and I know that you have all been trying very hard with the sheltering in place and complying. And I want to thank you for that, because that is going to make all of the difference in the world and how many people we save in this pandemic. So I want to first thank you for that. But I also want to uh, remind you, it's not over yet. You're going to see an increase in the number of cases as we test more. So please be prepared for that. So that doesn't necessarily mean that we have have a bunch of new positive cases, it means that we're testing the people that we were not able to test before, okay? So remember that. And then the CDC has new reg, um, recommendations on face masks. So it's recommending that you wear cloth face masks when you go out in public, especially if you are one of those high-risk people. So you can make those at home, and there are a lot of fantastic YouTube videos for the so and no-so kinds that you can make. And then, but please, um, please save those medical grade ones, the surgical masks and the N95 for our healthcare workers. They continue to have trouble getting those. And it's so very important that we keep them um, working and saving lives because if we start losing them, then we're gonna really be in a lot of trouble. So that's all I have and thank you everybody. Oh, thank you, thank you. And I wanna remind our viewers who are watching right now on our social media platforms and you know, really that in terms of the face mask, how to put them together, we have links on our website, celebratedouglascounty.com, specific links with guidance from the U.S. Attorney General as well as the CDC guidelines in how you can put together your own face mask. Fantastic. Well, Dr. Meemark, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us so we can you know, really help inform our city, city of Douglasville residents, our Douglas County residents. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.